Hi friends, welcome back to Excel Map. This is Srinivas. In this video, we will discuss about the most important concept in Excel is called VLOOKUP. So exactly what it does means, looks for a value in the leftmost column of a table and then returns a value in the same row for my column you specify. By default, the table must be sorted in an ascending order. VLOOKUP is an Excel function to look up and retrieve data from a specific column in a table. Means uh, from the huge amount of data for a value based on the column number will retrieve the data. So this function we can find in formula step lookup and reference category. So you can see a function called VLOOKUP. So normally in the lookup we have two functions those are HLOOKUP and VLOOKUP. So if the data is in vertically we will go for VLOOKUP. If it is in horizontally we will go for HLOOKUP means that is table array. For example this data is in vertical form. So we will go for VLOOKUP. Otherwise if it is in horizontal form like copy and alt ASA transpose. Now you can see, so the data, the table is in horizontal like a row wise. So in this kind of scenarios, we will go for HLOOKUP. But here the data is in vertical form. So we will go for VLOOKUP. Here we have few columns like employee name, job rating, salary. So for this salaries, I wanted to find the tax rates. In the first column, salaries. In the second column, we have the tax rates. So normally if you are going for exactly if the salary is 0, 0% 0 tax, if it is 5000, 1% tax, 25000, 5%, like 35000, 6%. But if you are observing the salaries are not in exact 60,010 and 29,480. So these salaries are not exact. We cannot match directly. That time it takes approximate. How it is? If it is a 0 to 5000, it takes 0%. If it is 5 to 25000, it takes 1%. If it is 25 to 35000, 5%. Like a 45 to 55000, 7%. 55 to 65, 8%. If it is more than 95, it goes to 13%. Means if you want to find exactly that is different, but here we are taking approximate because the values are not in exact in the table array. See, in the VLOOKUP, we have few arguments like is equal VLOOKUP, see, lookup value, comma, table array, comma, column index number, range lookup. That range lookup argument plays inside square bracket. If it is anything inside square bracket in Excel, that is called optional, means it's not mandatory. So here also, if you are giving here the value will get exact, otherwise we will get approximate value. So how it is, we will see now. First, the function, any formula starts with is equal, then we look up. First, we will go for lookup value 16,010, that is in the C2 cell, comma, table array. So we can select this range from H1 to I10, H1 colon I10, comma, column index number. So we will count the column number. So I want this tax rate. The tax rate is in second column which is we selected in the range. See here we selected only two columns that is H and I. So we will count from here. This is the first column and this is the second column. I want tax rate. The tax rate is in the second column. For the salaries we are finding tax rates. That's what I am giving column index number is 2 because here totally we selected two columns only. In the two columns I want second column. See don't count from the starting. Just count from the range which we selected and don't give the reference or cell number. Just give the column number only like uh, this is the first column it's the second column and uh, close the bracket. Then press enter. So the value the tax rate is 8%. See here, for the 60,010, that is between 55 to 65,000, we will get 8%. Now, drag it. See, you will get 
and a not available because the range is keep on changing h1 colon i10 go to the next cell that becomes h2 colon i11 see the table array is changing so if you are going to some other cells h8 colon i17 the value is not in the range example 16770 that is there between 5 to 25000 but we are searching from h7 onwards that's what will freeze it select the range press f4 that is a shortcut for phrase the range otherwise you can mention dollar symbol then press enter now you can drag down see in the last cells also we are able to see only the selected range so it is not changing by being phrase so now i am repeating this formula again is equal to we look up look up value comma table array this range phrase it press f4 comma column number is column index number is to bracket close enter now you can drag it so instead of selecting and phrasing will select directly that columns h column i now no need to select the range no need to phrase it just enter you can drag down so that will select completely number of rows 10 lakhs 48576 in the h and i columns but you have to check if there is no data below this table array then no need to work if it is there any other table other ranges will get wrong output so just you have to check whether is there any data below this table or range okay now here we are taking approximate values only because there is no exact data so if you wanted to take exact data for example like a job ratings otherwise names so for the names if you wanted to pick the if you wanted to retrieve the data from the table array you have to go for exact so what is exact match we'll check it now here you can find a another table here rate table so in the rate table for excellent 99 numerical score and very good 92 good 85 satisfactory 78 so for this names for the ratings just i require numerical score we look up is equal we look up look up value comma table array so you can select it and phrase it otherwise you can select complete columns like f column g comma column index number here also we set the two columns in that i want second column that is the numerical score go for two close the bracket enter see i got a different values not exact because fair fair is 71 but i got 50 satisfactory is 78 but we got 50 so different values because here we need exact match If you are not mentioning anything in the range lookup, by default it takes approximate match. That is called as true. True means approximate match. False means exact match. Whenever if you wanted to take the exact values, correct values, then go for false. Otherwise, you can mention zero. If you are not mention anything as range lookup, by default it takes true. That is approximate match. It takes the nearest values, not the exact values. so that go for zero or false that becomes exact match now you will get the exact values in the numerical score say fair is 71 yeah 71 and the satisfactory is 78 very good is 92 see like you will get exact values based on this range look up see that's what we are saying inside square bracket so whenever if you are giving this range look up as zero means false exact match exact values will get if you are not giving automatically it takes approximate match in the previous example if i am giving zero we won't get any result because there are no exact salaries are there in the table array so that's what i'm not giving zero that is exact match in this first table but in the second table i want exact values that's what i'm giving zero as exact match like this this we look up we have different kind of examples or there like all last tables and nested we look ups and the reverse we look up so we'll discuss uh, the topics so uh, in later videos thank you friends for listening my videos please subscribe my youtube channel and share this videos to your friends